welcome this is sixth lecture on thermodynamics in this video we will going to see the relationship between cp and cv that is relationship between specific heat at constant pressure and specific heat at constant volume we will derive cp minus cv relations and we will see their applications in order to derive the relationship between cp and cv we will start with an assumption that entropy of a system will depend on temperature and volume which means we can assume s which is entropy as dependent variable and temperature and volume as independent variables thus we can write s as a function of temperature and volume now we know s is function of temperature and volume we can simply write change in s change in s is given by this quantity ds which is equals to del s del t rate of change of entropy with respect to temperature at constant volume into change in temperature plus rate of change of entropy with respect to volume at constant temperature into dv this relation mainly says that change in entropy is equals to change in entropy due to change in temperature when volume is constant plus change in entropy due to change in volume when temperature is constant now differentiate this expression with respect to temperature at constant pressure so what we will get del s del t differentiation of differentiation of this dt with respect to temperature is 1 okay now simply multiply both side with t we will get this expression cp is given by t into del s del t at constant p this is cv cv is equals to t into del s del t at constant v finally we will get cp equals to cv plus t del s del v t into del v del t p from the first maxwell's relation we know del s del v at constant t is equals to del p del t at constant v so we will utilize this relation just replace del s del v in this expression we will get this form and this is cp minus cv relation so cp minus cv is given by cp minus cv equals to t into del p del t v into del v del t at constant p just note down this expression this is very important expression okay this is the relation which we want but there are two other different forms exist for cp minus cv and that can be obtained just by using the property of partial differential let's see the property of this differentials let p v t are related to each other by a function which is called f so we can simply write f as a function of p v t now as this is the function we can also write p as a function of v and t as p is a function of v and t then change in p can be calculated as dp equals to rate of change of pressure with respect to volume at constant temperature into dv plus rate of change of pressure with respect to temperature at constant volume into dt similarly we can write temperature as a function of pressure and volume therefore change in temperature is given by rate of change of temperature with respect to pressure at constant volume into dp plus rate of change of temperature with respect to volume at constant p into change in volume we have dt in equation 1 we can replace that dt with this equation 2 so simply eliminate dt from equation 1 by using equation 2 therefore we can get dp equals to this expression now dp and dv are independent to each other why 
P and V are independent variables. So we can independently tune pressure and volume. So we have freedom. You can independently change pressure. You can independently change volume. So this DP and DV are independent to each other. Okay. If they are independent, we can equate their coefficient. If you equate the coefficient of pressure, that means DP, then you will get left hand side the coefficient of dp is 1 so 1 and in right hand side we have del p del t v into del t del p v thus we can write del p del t v is equals to 1 upon del t del p v you can also note down this this is one of the property of the partial differentials now equate the coefficient of dv in left hand side there is no dv exists so coefficient of dv will be 0 in right hand side we will have del p del v t plus del p del t v multiplied by del t del v p just rearrange them so simply we can write del p del v t is equals to del p del t at constant v into del t del v at constant p this is the final expression we got by comparing the coefficient of dv we will utilize this relation which we just got that del t del v p is equals to 1 upon del v del t p this is the relation we have just proved by equating the coefficient of dp so that is valid for any uh, variables if you look here the variables were p and t but it is true for any variable so here we are using for t and v so del t del v at constant p can be written as 1 upon del v del t at constant p so if you substitute this here then we will simply get del p del t at constant v is equals to minus del p del v at constant t into del v del t at constant p so this is the one relation you just note down this also in similar way we can find out another expression for same relation now we will utilize this as well as this del p del v t is equals to 1 upon del v del p t now simply just substitute this one here and substitute this one here finally we will get expression for del v del t p is equals to minus del p del t v into del v del p t here we just got two expressions so we will utilize these two in order to find two different form of cp minus cv let's call it expression 1 and expression 2 and what is the form of cp minus cv earlier we got this one so if you utilize this equation one and replace this del p del t v by this factor the form of cp minus cv will look like this similarly if you use equation two and substitute del v del t p by this factor you will get another form of cp minus cv so here I have shown three different forms of CP minus CV. So you can note it down and under different circumstances or under different mathematical problem you may need to use any one of these. Okay. Sometimes one is more useful compared to the other. Now we have derived the expression for the CP minus CV. Let's see some of its application. We all heard of a CP minus CV is equals to R for ideal gas. Can we derive that expression from here? Yes, we can. Just now we derive CP minus CV equals to T del P del T V into V del T del P. For ideal gas, we know the equation of state is given by P into V equals to RT. Pressure into volume is equals to R into temperature. 
If this is the expression, we can derive this factor del p del t at constant v. So if you differentiate both sides with respect to temperature keeping volume as constant, you will get del p del t v equals to r upon v. Similarly, if you differentiate with respect to temperature keeping pressure as constant, you will get del v del t p equals to r upon p. So we got these two factors. So just substitute these two factors here. The final form of Cp minus Cv will look like Cp minus Cv equals to T into R square upon P into V. Now just replace this P into V by R into T because Pv equals to Rt. Thus Cp minus Cv equals to T R square upon Rt. 1R will cancel out, 1T will cancel out. And what we will have Cp minus Cv equals to R. From this expression, we just got Cp minus Cv equals to R. And this relation we know from our class 12. Just note down some important facts. This is one of the expression for Cp minus Cv. This factor is a square. So it can't be negative. This factor will be always negative. Why? If you increase the pressure, the volume will reduce. That's what we know all the time. So this factor is always negative. This factor is always positive. And there is already a negative sign exist. So overall, the right hand side will be positive or zero. In any case, suppose any of this differential will be zero, then either right hand side will be zero or positive. So we can write Cp minus Cv is always greater than equals to 0 or Cp always greater than equals to Cv. The specific heat at constant pressure will be always greater than or equals to Cv. But Cp cannot be less than Cv in any circumstances. So this is first fact. Now check the second fact. For that, we will use different expression for Cp minus Cv. If you look at this factor, del V del T at constant P means if you change the temperature, volume will change at constant pressure. This differential will always be small in solids and liquid compared to the gaseous system, which says Cp minus Cv is small in liquids and solids. Another important thing you can note down, it is an special case for water at 4 degrees centigrade, change in volume with respect to temperature is 0. So right hand side will be 0. We will have Cp equals to Cv. For water at 4 degrees centigrade, specific heat at constant pressure is equal to specific heat at constant volume. There is third fact, if P tends to 0, then Cp will tends to Cv. This statement says, if absolute 0 is approached, the two specific heat tends to equalize. We have seen so far some important facts. We have derived the expression for Cp minus Cv. We have seen one application of Cp minus Cv relation. Now we will going to see how Cv change with change in volume. To derive this expression, we will take the help of first Maxwell's relation which says del S del V T is equals to del P del T V. Now we will simply differentiate this expression with respect to T means temperature keeping volume constant. Thus, we will get this expression del del t operated on del s del v t at constant volume is equals to del 2 p del t square at constant volume. Now we can simply interchange this v and t. Why? Because we know from the property of partial differential del 2 del v del t is equals to del 2 del t del v. And this expression will converts to this del cv del v at constant t is equals to t del 2p del t square at constant v.
Why? Because T into del S del T at constant V is nothing but CV. So if you multiply T on both sides, then this expression will become T into del S del T which is CV. So we will have del del V operated on CV and in right hand side we will have T multiplied by this factor. So please note down this expression also. And now we are in the last part. We will going to see the pressure variation in CP. That means if you change the pressure how CP specific heat at constant pressure will change. To do that we will take the help of second Maxwell's relation which says del S del P T is equals to minus del V del T P. We will differentiate this expression with respect to T keeping pressure as constant. Thus we will get this expression del del T operated on del S del P T. This is for the constant pressure is equals to minus del 2 V del T square at constant P. As the previous case, we again interchange our T and P positions because we know del 2 del P del T is equals to del 2 del T del P. So by using this property, we have just simply interchanged the position of temperature and pressures in this expression. And if you multiply T on both sides, you will get del del P operated on T del S del T at P which is nothing but Cp. So the final expression we will have del del P operated on Cp at constant temperature is equals to minus T del 2 V del T square. Just simply multiply T on both sides and then T del S del T will be Cp. So the final form of variation in Cp with respect to pressure is this. So hope all these derivations are clear to you and I have marked important formulas for you which will help you to solve some of the numerical problems and to find out some other expressions. See you. Thank you.